today is, um, today marks exactly 200 days before the Olympics starts. So naturally I thought it'd be a good idea to, to bring you along week by week, day by day if you follow my social media. If you're not following my social media, okay, rude. Um, but it's at USA Browning K if you don't want to be rude. But anyway, sorry I'm out of breath. I'm out of shape. Whew. But today marks 200 days until the Olympics, so I figured why not why not bring you along? Because it'd be fun. I could show you exactly what I'm doing in training, how we're going up for the Olympics, keep you updated if there's any updates. My goal this year is to run a thousand miles in the year. So it is January 4th. So I have kind of ran a little bit um, since January 1. My goals are in every single day. Um, and I want to get to a thousand miles at the end of the year. And I think I can do it. I really do. But that's not why I'm on here. I'm on here because I am starting my YouTube back up and I want to bring y'all along with me because it looks like our World Cup schedule is back on and we're going to get to go through to a lot of World Cups this year. Um, so for January, we have a training camp in Tucson, Arizona, mm -hmm. which I've started officially training for training camp today and then we go uh to morocco and i am super excited about that because i've never been and i hear it's gorgeous i hear the food is really good um i actually have an aunt that's from morocco oddly enough uh she lives here now but anyway so i'm bringing y'all along my journey day one of training I just got done running. I made it, I made it three miles. Uh, well, ran, walked three miles and don't judge me for having a suitcase here and the Christmas tree is still up. I'm fully aware it's January and my Christmas tree is still up. Uh, but I wanted to show you kind of what I do um, after a run. If you'll stay there, I'll show you what I kind of do after running. Don't mind this either. Always conceal carry when I run. And if you're looking for a way to conceal carry, while you run, I'll link this. Um, but I try, and this sounds uh, very bougie, but I try to drink water that has a lot of pH in it. Um, so I just pour this in here. I do, I do more than eight ounces. I do like half a cup or three fourths of a cup of water. And then I'm gonna put um, I'm going to put this element in my drink. Uh, this is really, really good. It is very salty, um, but that's the point of it. It's electrolytes. Uh, it's non-gluten, no sugar, vegan friendly, paleo, keto, everything. Oh, that you think of friendly, um, has a lot of potassium in it. But anyways, whenever I run or work out and I sweat a lot, like I just did, I like to put one of these in my drink just to kind of like recharge everything and get everything back to its normal uh, levels. They come in a lot of different flavors too. This one's raspberry. Yep, just pour it in like that. Give it a little shaky shake. And there you go. How's day? how to stay hydrated. Sometimes too, I will put, I drink these in the morning, which I'll show you that on like a morning routine or something, but I put these, these are from Boma Nutrition. Uh, they're like immunity support. Traveling so much, like as much as I travel, I like to drink one of these a day just to stay on top of things. Um, really good for you too, but I'll show you how I drink those later. So that's what I drink after I uh, work out or run. Um, but now, what time is it? It's about 
2.45 in the afternoon. Um, it's, it's not too cold here in Arkansas. Um, so I'm probably gonna just finish this, drink it, and then I'm going to go outside and shoot some bunker for a little bit because I haven't shot in a hot minute. I'm gonna answer some emails and get a little bit of work done, kind of why I recharge and drink my drink. going out maybe not okay never mind it, ugh, nope it is I think okay y'all watch this um excuse me why are you doing this oh boy oh well that's not good work done so now I'm gonna go get my uh, shooting stuff together and see if I can hit a target it's been a minute I'm not gonna lie it's been a little bit everybody's like has corona affected you yeah it's affected me but honestly I've, I'm not gonna lie I've enjoyed the break so we'll see if I can hit anything Okay, I'm not gonna lie. I haven't shot in a little bit. This gun feels like it's like 40 pounds. I don't have quite a very long walk to my office either. It's just, whoop, and we're here. So today is obviously not an intense training day. I'm just, I'm just getting back in the gun. I just want to get back in the swing of things, feel my gun move, and just see where I'm at so I can, uh, you know, see what damage is done and what has to be worked on. First, we gotta go get some ammo. I'm a little scared to open this barn because we've stuffed everything that's going in the lodge in this red barn, so slightly afraid to open it up. Oh dear lord. Oh boy. Okay. Emma, where would you be? Um Ah, I see it. I see it. I found one case. Accessible case, the old federalis. I'm gonna deal with that later. Oh, whoop. Okay, I'm stuck. I am stuck. Let go of me. There we go. Okay. It's a process, y'all. I'll tell you. It is a process. Getting myself together. Let me tell you. Whatever tape Federal uses um, to tape their boxes and stuff together could honestly be used to build planes and rocket ships because it's the toughest tape ever. I have to use a knife. That's why I carry a knife. 
bad uh yeah i definitely got some work to do but that is to be expected yeah that wasn't bad at all so one of the main things i'm trying to work on here um is just try to figure out how my eyes are moving how much i need to work on my eyes my movements my gun how it feels how i'm moving the gun am i moving with my lower body am i moving with my upper body how much has transitioned um, into now from the off season and what exactly I need to work on. And off firsthand, I clearly need to work on my movement because they were super fast, super handsy, um, and that is definitely not what you want. So now what I do, uh, now that I train just a little bit, just to kind of, you know, I shot three or four, round, four, four rounds, um, so I kind of have an idea of what I need to start working on. So now what I'm going to go do is get my shooting journal out and I'm going to write down, um, how I felt and what I think I need to work on and kind of start to make a training plan off of that. And that training plan will continue to grow, uh, the more I shoot. What are you doing? What are you doing? Hi, Lily. Hi, Miss Lily. Oh, goodness. What are you doing? Oh, are you being a good girl? Are you being a good girl? You are. I know. You're the best girl in the whole world. I know. I don't have a super fancy journal. I do have um, a journal that I typically use, but it's full and I haven't ordered another one. So this is just a planner, 2021 planner, um, but it has... It has like days, you know, in it. And then each day it has like, you know, little things where you can write notes and like to do things. So uh, that's what I'm gonna fill out. I'm gonna fill out on the to-do list, make a training plan, and then I'm gonna write some notes on exactly what I want to incorporate in that training plan. <laughs> Okay, so I just quickly went through and made some notes for myself um, on what I want to start working on on my training plan. Numero uno, work on the eyes because they felt very sluggish and very slow. Even though I've done like some off-season stuff to um, kind of keep those in shape, I'm not totally out. Um, not totally out of shape. I'm just not where I typically would be like peak performance, but you know, that's why you got to train. You got to take off season. So uh, I got that in there. I have a lot of stuff on my notes wrote down from how that practice went. Um, just like some mental notes that I wrote down that I thought of while I was out there. And then I'm going to try something new this year. I'm going to incorporate more of my daily life into a structured plan. I don't really know what I mean by that yet, but I'm, I'm gonna, um, kind of, I, I kind of want to get on a schedule basically is what I want to do. I want to, um, like have a certain wake up time every morning, have just kind of get into a routine where it feels very natural and I'm just a little bit more productive on those things because I typically, um, will do all those things, but there's, it's not in like a very structured order, 
you know, I might wake up at 5.30 in the morning one day and work out. And then the next day I might not work out until, you know, 5.30 in the afternoon. So, and I know it will fluctuate a little bit, but I kind of want to make everyday life and things that I typically would do into the shooting program. It's just, I don't know, it's a new thing I'm working on. Um, I'll let you know how that goes, but yeah, that's kind of what I want to do. And I wrote down the things I can think of that I want to add in and start working on all of those things. So this typically will take me about, I don't know, this is kind of going to be like in a, a two week long thing that is going to, it's going to take me about two weeks to make, um, oh, this has a goal a goal section. What? Y'all, look, this thing has a, a thing for your goals. That's pretty cool. I can write down, it has career, finances, organization, digital wellness, style, home, hobbies, mental health, physical health, relationships, self-care. What? Then you can even write down like your daily habits, weekly routines, annual actions, and monthly rituals. Why didn't I write that down there? Who knew? Okay. Well, oh, there's even more pages of it. It's got pages and pages of goals that you can fill out. Well, I'm obviously going to fill that out. Cool. I got this planner at Target. I have no idea what it is, who makes it. Uh, the Every Girl, I think is what it's called, The Every Girl. Anyway, it looks like this. It's just a simple planner. It was like nine bucks and I got it at Target. Because I'm a writer downer, if that makes sense. I have to write down things. Like when I wake up in the morning, things that I need to do, I have to write them down or else who knows where they go. I don't. But anyway, yeah. So this, this is going to take about two weeks for me to... Uh, get done and what I'm going to do in the two weeks is just kind of fill out a routine that works for me like a daily routine that works for me um, and that is going to consist of you know a solid time that I wake up every morning the kind of like you know same time I wake up every morning same time I go to bed every night uh, what I'm doing as soon as I wake up like nutrition wise hydration wise uh, kind of fill out how my day flows and what's going to work best for me. So that's going to take me about, like I said, two weeks to acquire because yeah, I could just make a schedule here and then realize like, hey, that doesn't work. <laughs> it not work at all. So that's what I'm going to do. But yeah, um, if y'all enjoy these, you know, it helps me out if you give a subscribe and a good old thumbs up. I'm not a big YouTuber, but you know, it's kind of a cool um, experience because the Olympics is in an off year. It's like an odd year. So, and I get questions all the time, like how has Corona affected you? What's your world cup schedule? Like, are the Olympics still on? I truly don't know. So, uh, this is the best way for me to kind of show you an inside of things that I know and, uh, how I'm handling them and how I'm training for them. So if you like this thumbs up, subscribe, if not, Wow. Okay. I'm just kidding. Have a good day, y'all.